Let's see how are microorganisms useful. Now we'll take it in a series of lecture. The first one we are taking is making curd and cheese. Now, have you ever seen, as I had explained to you in one of the earlier videos, let's say you have a container where there is milk. Okay? And this is for the formation of the curd. So what happens is that when this milk has to be changed to curd, what is done is that normally a teaspoon which can already contains some curd is added to the milk. This is kept for let's say 8 to 12 hours. Okay. And then this turns into curd. Now what happens when this is done? I mean how does it how is it that you know this milk turns into curd? Now milk contains something called casein, which is a protein. Okay. Now, this drop of curd would basically be contained a bacteria called lactobacillus. Some people call it lactobacilli and you know all those things. So, this is a bacteria. So, when this curd is mixed into this milk, this lactobacilli present in the milk changes the sugar. So, when you have this sugar, milk, it also contains lactose sugar. So this lactobacilli would react with lactose sugar to convert into lactic acid. When this lactic acid is formed, what happens? This creates kind of or facilitates for this protein to coagulate which means what to thicken up and solidify so basically the lactobacillus just if I were to summarize the lactobacillus present in spoon of curd reacts with lactose sugar present in the milk to form lactic acid this lactic acid would react with casein or protein which is present in the milk to kind of thicken it up and form a curd. Okay? And this very bacteria, you know, together with another bacteria which is known as Streptococcus, helps in the formation of cheese. So this is one of the first use which microorganisms have which has been used time and again and most oftenly by the people or humankind.